This was confirmed by the devs, but the tenderizer is not the correct color. It's a green and tan color currently when it should be all black like the trailer. This was a known issue before the release of the war bond, but they'll fix it at a later date apparently. Also, the tenderizer has less capacity, yet the same damage, five less recoil, and a slower fire rate when compared to the base AR-23 Liberator, which is the starting weapon of the game. That makes no sense because that makes it a worse option when compared to that. And also, to boot, it doesn't have medium armor penetration, so why would you use this over the base gun? The P113 Verdict has all the properties of being a Desert Eagle-like handgun in the game with slightly less damage when compared to the Senator, which would make sense because you offset that with a big, bigger magazine with a easier way to reload it with a little bit less damage. However, it has light armor penetration. I don't understand that. The Plaz 101 Purifier also doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it has similar damage to the Plasma Punisher, yet somehow it feels weaker, even though the AoE is a bit wider. I don't quite understand because, I don't know, I just figured they'd do about the same damage, but it feels like the Plasma Punisher does more for some reason. It also operates like a sniper or marksman rifle in the game, yet we don't get any scoping options to really flesh out this weapon. And also the charge mechanic just feels very unnecessary on this weapon. I mean, I would understand it if the weapon hit like a Mack truck the longer you charged it, like the railgun. However, it just doesn't make sense for the weapon. It, and the Plasma Punisher, again, just feels stronger. I'm unsure if the booster actually does anything. I do notice a slight difference in slow when I'm facing the hunters, especially if I'm fighting one one-on-one, -on -one, but I just don't notice a difference with the acid, like it says in the tooltip. I'm assuming this is bugged, but I don't know. I mean, like, it's just something that I've noticed. At this point, the armors look really awesome. I'm enjoying the cosmetic feel of the armor. However, they're just becoming skins at this point. There's no unique properties outside of cosmetics. They have the same boring armor passives. Heck, even one of the armors has little cleats on them that would seemingly make you be able to run better on ice or just run better through snow that'd be a kind of a, like a little cool easter egg but again they don't do anything but hey at least the smg and the grenade are both fun right all right so that's just my initial thoughts for the war bond as a whole i mean i've got plenty more notes and i want to talk about all of those and break everything down individually because i don't think i can give everything the allotted amount of time i would like and also i need to do a little bit more testing on everything but in general, those are my thoughts, and what I more wanted to talk about in this video is just the state of war bonds in Helldivers 2, because I don't think most of you can fight me when I say this, the war bond quality has slowly been decreasing over time. Now, that's not to say that Arrowhead is not releasing unique content into the game. For example, I think the Democratic Detonation War Bond offered quite a bit of uniqueness to its weapon, the grenade, and even the booster in my opinion, because we got the thermite grenade, the eruptor rifle, as well as the grenade pistol, the crossbow. All those things are fairly unique and I like it. As well as in this one, we got the plasma rifle, we got the impact grenade incendiary, as well as we got the concussive SMG. So in general, again, I think the uniqueness of these things are all great. However, the way they play is another story because a lot of these weapons either come out overpowered, underpowered, their quality control is just all over the place. We're not getting any consistency, but for the most part, I would say that they don't perform very well right out of the gate, and they're having to focus so much on this fix it later mentality. Now, this video is not designed as a Helldivers 2 bad or an Arrowhead bad type video. It's more specifically focused on what they could do to help offset some of these quality control issues. So the main crux of my thought is what I proposed over on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it at this point. And the thought I proposed was I legitimately wanted to understand the testing practices over at Arrowhead. Now my main thought and question was why have they not incorporated a community test server of some kind or a beta test server? Plenty of other games do this, so why has Arrowhead not done this? Because getting some feedback from some trusted members of the community would be absolutely invaluable to Arrowhead and probably offset some of these quality control issues out of the gate. Now I'm not saying this needs to be open to the public and have anybody involved, but if you got some creators or whoever you want to choose to be able to test these things, provide proper feedback, this may offset some of those issues that you've been having <laughs> when releasing these war bonds. I mean seriously, again, look at the Liberator and the Tenderizer situation. When you compare these weapons side by side, they're identical weapons except for some reason the Tenderizer somehow has less capacity and less fire rate. So which one are you gonna use? It doesn't make any sense in my opinion. Now if they gave the tenderizer a little bit more damage because it is a slower fire rate, or if they gave it medium armor penetration, this would immediately make it a bit of a difference. But again, I think this slip, this slip through the cracks over at Arrowhead and their quality control. 
Now again, I don't want to assume that Arrowhead does not have any quality control team over there because they do, but I feel like that some of these things slip through because they don't give themselves enough time to actually work with these things and see like, hey, maybe this is too similar to this weapon. Maybe we should give it some differences in my opinion. So what is the solution here? How do they fix this problem? Because obviously they can't just not release content because this game is so popular now and the expectation is monthly war bonds. So I totally understand that. So what is the ultimate solution here? Quite honestly, I don't have a concrete solution out of what I've already stated. I feel like getting the community involved in some sort of test server would help offset some of these quality control issues. Pulling the community on weapons in the current state and how they feel would help as well to where that way they can make some better decisions with weapons coming out. And I don't know, just in general, maybe delaying the war bonds by just a little bit. I know the community CEO did talk about that a little bit. I know it was for another reason because of the Sony situation and I'm glad that was resolved. But at the same time, I think that he may have thought that this war bond might be a little undercooked and needed more time. So yeah, I mean, giving the war bond a couple of weeks to be fixed and be in a good state wouldn't be too bad of an idea. One last random thought I had is why don't they potentially make the weapons overpowered out of the gate? I mean, there's nothing wrong with making things overpowered and then bringing them down because I feel like it's harder to bring weapons up when they're underpowered because you can't find that balance as easily. But if you make something a little bit overpowered, you could fix that. Again, I understand how sensitive at this point the community is to nerfing weapons at this point. So I'm not trying to cross that bridge too much where they just need to nerf everything as soon as it comes into the game. But I don't know, just trying to think of solutions here. But at the end of the day, I think the in general overall thought is that these war bonds just need a little bit more time in the oven. I'm not going to get upset personally if they have to delay a war bond a few weeks because it doesn't feel right. And I feel like getting community involvement from some trusted members of the community, not everybody, maybe some creators, would go a long way to making these weapons feel better coming out of the gate. So that way people have a much better experience with these weapons when they purchase the war bond. That's just my overall thoughts on that. But again, I don't want this to come off as Arrowhead's doing a bad job. I just feel like that they are overwhelmed with their amount of success. The analogy that I heard the other day, and I thought it was a good one, was that if you're a small time YouTuber, and then all of a sudden you become PewDiePie, you're not gonna really know how to handle that success. Even though you think you would, you're not going to because going from one level of success to another is a, is a really big difference. It's kind of what happened to Arrowhead. They grew up a little bit faster than they thought they would, so they're going through some growing pains and I completely understand. But you don't have to do everything yourselves. You can offload some of that testing to us. We will give you some good feedback on how these things feel and if they don't feel good, you can delay things just a little bit to be able to fix exactly what the problems are. Anyways, this is just a short little video to give you my initial thoughts on the current war bond and kind of the state of the war bond situation at Helldivers 2. Again, I don't know what the solution is as a whole, but I really do think that offloading some of the quality control stuff to the community would help a bunch. Arrowhead, keep doing what you're doing, doing a great job. I love your game. I love your. I love the fact that you're changing the live service model, so keep doing that. But again, full breakdowns for all the weapons, the booster and the grenades coming up very soon. I'm excited to get into those videos and have plenty of notes to go over those, so stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you guys watching this video and do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.